What's up guys, Nathan Larson here with another video. For those of you guys who make music at home, whether you are an artist, a songwriter, a producer, as long as you write and record your own music, this is the channel for you. And in this video, I'm super excited because I'm gonna be producing an entire track and showing you how using nothing but Spitfire Labs. So first off, this video is not sponsored by Spitfire. It's just, I wanted to do it because it's fun and I wanna show you guys how you can still make fantastic music with free tools. So if you didn't know, Spitfire Labs is a free library that Spitfire created that has just a bunch of really great sounds from their soft piano to their strings to a drum set to just a bunch of different things that you can create some really great music with. So in this video, I'm gonna be using that as the only place that I can use sounds to then create an entire track. So this will be an instrumental track. I'm probably gonna go a little bit more in the cinematic kind of vibe, like instrumental, almost like what you'd expect, uh, you know, for sync licensing, those types of things. So we're about to jump in the DAW and do that. I will be using some other plugins, delays, reverbs, things like that. But as far as the sounds that I'm gonna be using, they're entirely coming from Spitfire. So I'll have a link down in the description below where you can download Spitfire Labs so you can jump into it. But this is a super fun library to use. I'm excited to show you what we come up with. Let's do it. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I'm not really sure what you're waiting for. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. And like the video for the YouTube algorithm. That's what my manager says. Shoot, I don't have a manager. That's, just click the like button. All right, so now that we have the DAW open, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So first thing we need to do is obviously create a new track. We're gonna do software instrument, go down. I already have labs, I'm gonna show you where it's at. Spitfire Audio, labs. Uh, by the way, the BBC Symphony Orchestra, that's also free. Also, I apologize for the audio. I normally have a lapel mic. It broke, so we're stuck with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up an instance of labs. And actually, you know what I wanna do? I wanna open up like 10 instances of labs. Let's just do that. Boom. So this is what the interface looks like. It's really straightforward. Like all of them just look like this. This is a reverb control here. This is more of the volume. This would be your mod wheel. Uh, I don't have an overhead camera looking at my keyboard, but I have it here. You can see with the mod wheel when you... That kind of makes it bigger and then the reverbs here. So this is what the default is. It's gonna be the soft piano, which is really amazing sounding. You can kind of hear here, hear here. <laughs> Soccer. Really good sound. So all of this stuff in here, you can basically click in, and these are all the different sounds they've got. So they got piano, drums, keys, synths, guitars, strings, experimental stuff. So we're gonna just kind of use as much as we can. I'm gonna be kind of doing a little bit more on the cinematic side of things here. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this piano. And I think I kind of have an idea of what I want to do already. I like starting on major two. That way I can kind of lead things up a little bit. So I'm going to do this like, let's get that up. So it's like A minor, F major seven, C major and then E minor seven, which is a really cool progression. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let's track this out. Okay, so we'll do that, quantize that. Cool, so I like that. So this is a piano. I always like coloring my stuff, so I'm gonna make this yellow. I always do yellow for piano. If you're using Logic, Shift Option C will color tracks. Okay, now we've got that done. I'm gonna go ahead and create some duplicate. Oh, no, 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 We'll just kind of duplicate that. I don't really like using loops, to be completely honest with you, but I'll do this. Like, I don't actually like looping it. I don't know why, just do. All right, so now we need to find other sounds to go with this and kind of figure out the direction that we ultimately wanna go. So I'm kind of thinking I want some sort of a some sort of motion. I'm thinking maybe we could start the whole track with that four bars of that progression, but then I wanna have something else come in. So let's see what we got as far as some keys. Electric piano, let's see what that sounds like. Okay, cool. Let's see what the reverb sounds like. 
Ooh. So like an arpeggio, I like that idea of doing something like that. So let's go ahead and do that on the second part. Okay, so let's go ahead and start doing more. I want to make this quick, show you guys that you can you can just start creating stuff really fast here. Oh, you can hear my one-year-old son crying upstairs. Yeah, boy, get it. It's actually his birthday today. Yes! So what I want to do is maybe start adding some strings. Let's see what we got here. Soltasto. Soltasto is really cool. That's actually where the string player plays very close to the fretboard, I believe, or it's very, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Those of you string players can correct me. Let's do a harmonic violin. That's cool. Let's see what that sounds like. Yes! You know what? I could start this at the very beginning. Here we go. Let's just do something. Uh, okay, so let's maybe... I don't know how I like about the scratchiness. The scratchiness is pretty ridiculous. Ah, there we go. Now we're talking. I like that a little better. And then, and then when everything comes in, we can do some different. Trio. Okay, so then I want to move on to some bigger decisions here. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that kit. It sounds really cool for different stuff, but I don't know about this. So let's try some other stuff. Cello. Let's try it. What is this super chisel toss? Woo! <laughs> yes, yes, that has to be there at the beginning. I'm gonna mute this harmonic violin. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Here we go. Woo. Mm. That gum. That sounds good. I love it. Let's kind of let's do let's do that. We do it for like four sections of that, and then we'll just kind of keep growing it, building it. You know, I almost wonder if they have some like, kind of most, almost like plucky. That's weird. Woo! What's that? That's cool, I like that. Let's do that, maybe here. Got to get more layers, more layers. Short, let's see what strings sound like short. Almost like a violin viola kind of duo thing. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. do we want to do? What else do we want to do? What does a granular piano sound like? What does it even sound like? Oh yeah! I like that, so then it can kind of grow somewhere. Gotta go somewhere. Three. Four. Okay, this just needs to kind of go somewhere more. We're not going. We're not going anywhere. It needs to go somewhere. Okay, so let's, let's listen.
Okay, yeah. Sounds like those cellos are cutting out. Okay, no, I no longer like that. I'm gonna grow that in. We're gonna EQ it. It's gonna be awesome. Three. <laughs> And then what I'm gonna do is, is automate the EQ. I wanna basically take out all the highs. Now we're going somewhere. Gotta keep going up. So then I gotta do something here in the piano to kinda help just Okay, this is where we need something a bit bigger. Well, I don't know why I just created a new instance when I literally have. I can live with that. What I want to know is if this has any horns. I actually don't know. I usually use Spitfire's piano like a ton, but I don't actually know if they have any brass. Any brass? Brass anywhere? Hello? No. What does their choir sound like? Oh yeah, we could totally use that. Why not? I like it. All right, so we just got the choir in. Cool, so I wanna, I just wanna add more textures synth pads, what do we got? Ah, we could do that in the beginning actually, just add a little more color. I dig it. All right, so that's good to get. That's really. sound kind of muted and I just realized it would be really cool would be maybe to do something um, if you guys are familiar with the plugin movement by output it's dope so I'm gonna throw the piano in here and see what we come up with <laughs> mm. I don't really like the idea of doing a triplet though Let's do dotted eighths. Pretty cool. I forgot how much I love the dulcimers on here, actually. Now, this is where 
I love doing this. Ready for this? Native Instruments has my favorite delay, Replica. This thing's dope. This thing's so dope. You just wait. Go to diffusion mode. Crank up that mix and feedback. Uh. Sounds so good. I love it so much. Haha, <laughs> yes, just like that. That's it. That. I love hammered dulcimer so much. I have one, but it sounds really bad. There we go. There we go. This is starting to come together. So then we gotta turn that turn that up and crank it, and then we gotta get the strings of dump ba bum 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 bum. There we go. That was bad, but the rhythm is that that's the same. Gotta get the counterpoint, gotta get the counterpoint so the things are kind of actually going somewhere. Here we go. Okay, so I'll have to quantize that for sure. Dun 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 dun. So let's do another hammer dulce per part. That's how it needs to end, right there. Boom! And I think there needs to be a little bit of like a piano thing. Ooh, ooh, replica, piano. And here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's get my mixer open. Replica. Oh, no, 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 no. Didn't mean to turn that all off. I meant to option click, Greg. There it is, there it is. Here we go. Yeah, I like that. All right, so about 30 something minutes worth in just using Spitfire Labs. Let's take a listen to what we got in the end here. Now, I mean, there's more I would do. This is like 30 something minutes worth to show you what you can do with this. Here we go.
Boom! So, there we go. That's what we got with just using nothing but the Spitfire Labs. I used Replica. That was the only plugin that I used that is not like a stock plugin. The only other one I use is EQ. There's no compression. Like, I've done no mixing in here. There's, there's like nothing. It's just literally Spitfire. So, for all you guys who say that all of your problems are mixing related, this, this sounds pretty good, right? I didn't do any mixing. So, most of the problems are not mixing problems. It's sound selection problems and arrangement problems. So, anyway, that's what we got. If you've not already done so and you like the video, you like videos like this, then subscribe, hit the bell for notification, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of the video, like the video, and if you wanna connect, follow me on Instagram, send me a DM, I'd love to hear from you. If you really wanna take things to the next level, I'm really excited because I have a lot of new courses that I'm working on that'll have a lot more in-depth, detailed material than I can do here on YouTube, that'll be a lot more structured. Those links are down in the description below for you to check out. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.